I'm John Lockwood from Crafts2 and today I'm going to be using the new Kaleido machine which is an all-in-one die cutting foiling and technique machine from Crafts2 and I'm going to be showing you on this technique video how we can use wax crayons to imprint colour and beautiful patterns into paper. So all I've got here are some standard wax crayons, nothing really expensive, and a, and a grater. This is this is like a microplane grater. You can use any grater at all. So I've already got some bits in here. So I'm gonna let's pull out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of wax. Don't add too much. What you'll find is if you add a little bit too much, then it starts to come out of the machine. But there is a technique video showing you how to actually clean the machine. So again, let's put this on. What I've got, if you notice, is another piece of card underneath this to catch the extra bits because you don't want wax going everywhere. OK, so let's take some of those bits off. There we go. So a little bit of wax onto there, not too much. So I've just grate it on. It's quite simple. And then I'm going to bring in my plate combination. So I'm going to using my plates and it's the standard foiling combination of the base plate the five millimeter plate and the three millimeter plate and this is the one that you keep clean for your heat embossing for your heat embossing for your foiling i mean get that wrong so put the card down with the wax on top and then grab a piece of baking parchment and put that on top okay this is to protect your rollers from the wax and then i'm simply going to bring in my kaleido machine engage my sandwich as normal and then simply turn the handle and turn it slowly and the heat and the pressure will not only melt the wax it will actually transfer the color into the card so we just pull this through there we go and you may find after you've done this you may want to clean your machine so watch the video on how to clean your machine but if you can see here that isn't actually waxy anymore what that's done is giving you that beautiful background but it's actually imparted the color into the card so you've got that so i want to show you this is one i did with just two colors and you see i've stamped and foiled over the top so that's what i'm going to do now just to show you how that works so i've got a beautiful background and if if you're not happy with that if you think oh there's far too much white i want more color you can take it and add a little bit more um wax to it so let's just take this and say oh i want a little bit more color on this i've got a lot of blue and a lot of yellow so would i want a little bit more of the red or perhaps could I, would i like some pink so it's not a one-off track and i would suggest using a sort of a, a, a bigger grater to be honest so I can build up layers. So let's add a little bit of pink and here's a little bit of lilac. And I'm just using normal sort of children's colouring in wax crayons. Nothing, you know, massively expensive. Let's scrape the last bits off. I'll just spread those around as normal. No problems at all. And again, back onto my plates. We'll move our protective piece out of the way. Take my baking parchment, pop that on, bring the machine in, engage your plates. Oops, sorry, make sure you get your plates right. Engage your plates. And every time I do this, there we go, get it started. And just slowly turn your handle. And you'll see there, because I've used a little bit more. You see there's some wax come out of the bottom. But then I put another colour onto it. So I can build up different layers. But that is still all just into the card. So if I want to stamp over the top of that, I can. Or I can stamp and foil over the top. So we'll just pop our card into our press to impress. Um... Should we just stamp over the top of this one and not foil it just to show you a different way to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this time memento ink but you can use your standard versafine and so i'm just tapping the ink on 
making sure it's nice and pressed in, but I'm not having to use a stays on or any, or stays in place ink. I'm not having to use any permanent ink. You can see there, completely sealed. I've got the stamping on that. And all we do is just always trim down the excess. because you can, it kind of distracts the eye from what you've made. Trim that out, and there you go. You've got that beautiful background, but we've been able to stamp with a normal ink over the top. And you would leave it a couple of minutes to dry. But again, most of these areas are dry, but it will stay on there permanently. And again, if we wanted to, we could stamp over with the Kaleido ink. So this is another one done in blues and greens and yellow and then we'd foil over the top and the wax doesn't affect it and it doesn't actually even feel waxy. So another technique that you can do with your Kaleido machine. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 